what's going on everybody how are you doing out there so um i I don't really know where to begin uh i think i'll start by saying thank you to each and every one of you that shared with me uh the kind words in regards to my father's passing um uh, my last video and uh, you know it's just been i guess just kind of a crazy week and here we are in the midwest and i'm basically just uh i'm at my parents place now i moved i moved from vermont back out to illinois and uh so they had this place built like back in the 90s and when they had it built they you know when they dug the foundation i think they found some river stone stuff like that buried here and there and did the landscaping and stuff so those rocks pretty much became part of their you know their yard work and stuff and so um as overgrown as it may be it has provided some some nice terrain for the uh the mini z4 runner uh which i have set up currently with the uh baja mtz's and some stamp steel bead locks and a couple of other uh hop ups on their shocks and stuff like that stainless steel links from rc mart etc um anyway I, it's kind of a funny little story about the forerunner i when i left vermont in 1994 i moved out of the state in a 1985 forerunner um same color everything except mine had a white cap on it instead of a black one and it was set up with uh 33 by 10 and a half on chrome craggers and uh lifted a little bit it was a pretty well set up rig and i drove it for i don't know about a year and a half until i very blindly ignorantly traded it in on a 1991 sob so it's just kind of funny that my first video back in illinois uh, is of the 85 forerunner mini z crawling around on my parents front yard so um yeah i've just been kind of milling around sort of trying to discover and figure out what to do i've had just so many things going on that i this was actually footage from like the first or second night that i was back um and i've been back now a week and i just kind of had unpacked a bunch of stuff and needed to decompress for a minute so i grabbed a couple of cars and went outside and decided to um do kind of funny stuff like this like use a plant as a foothold going over this gap this is kind of funny the mini z is light enough that all it does is just bends it over until it touches the other side same thing with the back but uh you know right down to the satellite dish and the uh you know the log home in the background and stuff right now this is pretty much what i got to work with i haven't gone and driven around anywhere to try and find any spots to crawl um just been trying to do a little bit of stuff here getting all settled in and things like that it's been you know, pretty interesting uh, completely uprooting my entire life coming back to my hometown and then essentially rebuilding and, and kind of reconstructing everything as well as taking care of my mother and dealing with things like the septic system the refrigerator that blew up um all the other stuff not literally blew up but just died after a power failure the other night you know just various things uh and so yeah just uh, you know to get out and run a crawler for a few minutes uh was kind of nice and so i decided to try and make it look like i guess i was elsewhere i think i succeeded in a couple spots um this one looks all right you certainly don't see any man-made objects in the background um and this was kind of a fun line too i just figured that this was something that i knew the mini z could do so i just decided to put it on this spot and uh it struggles a little bit but running in 20 25 slow speed uh just it almost looks like a 110 and uh just kind of digging how it how it handles this whole thing so uh what else can i say what's going on you know uh life is life is a crazy thing and i don't want to philosophize too much about it i know a lot of you guys have been through what i just been through and some of you haven't been through any of that uh but yeah just be prepared at every turn that uh the the strangest things can take place and you'll find yourself uh really kind of having to, to change everything you've known sometimes uh i thought that the little wheelie right there and also too in slow motion it's amazing what you end up seeing and how this ends up you know kind of translating to itself 
uh, you know, in video, in, you know, versus like when you watch it like in fast speed. And there's just little things that you would never really see the rebound, the way it settles and stuff like that. Um, that's kind of why I, you know, the whole scale thing, the whole scale video in slow motion, I, I really like it a lot. I know a lot of guys like to watch like the regular full speed. For me personally, I just think that this is a little, little easier to watch. Um, so at any rate, yeah, it gets stuck here. I try a couple times. It's all just stuff that I knew this rig could do. So I just decided to keep, keep, you know, trying at it. Just keep going. Just like I'm doing every day. So it backs up and honestly feels just like a 110 would feel in that spot. <laughs> it uh, just picks itself up here in a second and moves on to the next section. That piece of pink granite, kind of like middle left, I placed that there uh, very gladly. And uh, it seems to make a good use of it right through that spot. And I kind of thought it was done here too, but it, it, there it goes, you know, it just bit right on. And once again, thought it was done here, didn't think that it was going to make this spot. And these tires aren't the softest thing in the world, I think if it was a better compound, they would certainly hook up a lot better. But this rock is also incredibly smooth. It has virtually, uh, almost, I mean, you can see it's just, it has any traction, barely any traction at all. But it made it to the top. And as you can see, I've already gone through and done some trail maintenance on this. I placed uh, this rock here for the left front to put to good use. Kind of act as a little bit of a bridge. I also upped the gear on the Mini Z. Um, I put the next largest pinion than stock and it seems to kind of spice up the motor a little bit, kind of give it a little bit more responsiveness. Anyway, that's the video, folks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Um, still trying to figure it all out. Thank you for being here, and I will see you on the next one.